So I'm, I'm recording this from the hospital. Um, not doing too well this morning. It's, uh, very, she was very upset and not quite coherent. And I, I, I didn't quite understand what she was saying, but she was really upset. Um, I don't know, I don't know. Um, Cause last night when I left, she was not coherent, but in a better mood and she was responding and smiling a little bit. And then today, just really, really agitated and upset. And I'm, I'm hoping that, I, you know, visiting hours end at seven. I can't stay with her 24 seven, so I don't know what they're doing here. Um, anyway, the PSYOP does continue. Um, as I said, I think I, I think I mentioned this in another video if I didn't. One day after I got home from, from uh, the hospital, I tried to use my computer. I mean, there's an external keyboard, and the external keyboard and mouse didn't work, and it worked when I left. Now, with the, when it comes to our important stuff, like our documents and, you know, my, my computers, whatever, I'll either take it with me or I'll lock it in a safe location, and it's just too much to keep carrying with me. It's all too heavy, and I have to take public transport, so... Because it's, it's just too expensive to take ride share back and forth. So, um, but I didn't lock up the keyboard and the mouse. So yeah, that's broken. Um, it's just one stressor after another, after another. Uh, some years ago, my uncle hired a lawyer for my mom. Um, and we had to give him all of her important documents. And then he ghosted her. He never called back. He never gave the documents back. I called my uncle, but I guess he couldn't get them back. Um, so they still have the documents. And I just, I broke down again. And I, even though years ago, I had been calling over and over again over the years, I broke down again and called. And I spoke with a new person there. There was a new receptionist. And she was nice. She, she said she would look for them. And at first she called back and said that they don't have them anymore or it was in storage or something, she couldn't find them. But then she called me back and said they found them. Good. Um, so she, but she, it's a huge document, it's a huge file and she can't, she can't just scan everything and send it. She did send me two of the most important ones, but um, there, there's other larger documents that I need and I can't get them. They, they, they can't, they can't send them here. And their office is so far out in the suburbs, I have no way of getting there. And it would take like, it would cost, I'm, I'm gonna guess hundreds of, hundreds, hundreds of dollars to take ride share there and back. It, you know, it's gotta be one stressor after another. This can never just, I mean, this is always going to be brutally difficult. But, but these little things just make it harder and harder and harder. I need those documents. Because I wanna make sure that my mom ends up in a, a very good place. You know, not, not a stay at home. But I need the documents in order to do that, in order to find out if, if we can even make sure she gets into a better place, a nicer place. And I can't get the documents. And I, it's just one stressor after another. But the two that, that she did uh, email me, so I saved them to every location I could. The only thing I couldn't do is print them out. At first, the printer wouldn't work. The computer wouldn't pick up the printer. And then. I, you know, after trying for like a half hour, I looked online for a solution, found one. It worked. Fabulous. It started to print, finally. Sigh of relief, right? Nope. Because just as soon as I, it started to print, I looked at the print, printer, I looked at the, uh, the papers being printed, and it was out of ink. I didn't use up the ink. It, was, it, was, it should have been a, a close to full cartridge. Okay, I, I know that the perpetrators came into the apartment and, and did this over and over again, just, just screwing with me and making this as hard as humanly possible. So today, um, as I was walking, this guy passed and he kind of stopped, looked at me, looked at his phone, right? Then made the gesture and I said, finally, I just addressed him, who are you working for? 
and he asked me who I am to ask him who he's working for. And I said, who told you to do that? And he said, who am I to, to ask him who told him to do that? Walking on, a guy on the way to the, the train, he passed me and he, um, He almost walked right into me. He 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 kind of he came right at me, and then as I moved, he did. But but he he just like he was literally coming right at me, and he was looking right right at me. And as he passed, he did the thing with with his hands that I usually do, like the nervous kind of like stimming, you know, the um, fidgeting, not fidgeting, but I don't know. He most people don't do that. He did that, and they've had the perpetrators do that quite often now. So I just broke down and screamed. I just, it was guttural. It was just, just a scream. I don't need this shit. This is so hard already. And the perpetrators, the, the stalkers, the hunters, these, these sick fucks are just going to make it harder and harder and harder. I mean, how, how sick do they have to be to do that to people? This is so sick. And then he mocked me. He mocked my scream. He gave it back in an exaggerated manner making it sound really, I don't know. And I thought, what, what, he is, he is a soulless demon. And I understand that, that, um, not all of the hired lackeys understand, have full understanding of what they're involved in, right? But, um, you gotta, you gotta, they, they've gotta be aware that they're hurting people. They're getting paid to do it. Anyway, just a quick update.